I need a new foundry and I found a propane tank sitting on the side of a ditch. Let's turn this into a foundry. Step one, we gotta bleed the tank so we don't explode when we cut into it. For that, I just put on an open-ended hose and I'm gonna turn it on and leave it open. It's already empty, but we're just making sure. Next step, we're ratcheting it to a tree. I'm using a piece of one and one quarter inch pipe to fit over the valve stem. I wanna twist that off so I can purge the, all the gas out. It's cemented on there, so it takes a lot of leverage, but once it's ratcheted and tight, you can get it to move fairly easily with the pipe. So we got the valve stem off, that's good. I can smell the propane, so I definitely won't want to cut into that. So we're going to fill it with water, purge the rest of that gas out before we do anything else. Now that the gas is purged out, made a mark on the top, time to cut the top off. Okay, so we got the top cut off. Now it's time to cut the vent hole in the top part. I'm gonna be putting a one inch burner in there. And for the vent hole, you're supposed to make it about three to four times the size of the burner. I'm gonna go a little bit on the bigger end of that because if I wanna close it off, I can just put a piece of ceramic wool or a fire brick on top of that if I need to close that. Also, uh, when you're using one of these, keep in mind to keep things ventilated. My carbon monoxide detector just went off. Honestly, didn't even know I had one of these. Okay, next I'm gonna put a hinge on it. bottom of the tank is rounded. I don't really want that. I want it to be nice and flat. So I'm going to take some refractory cement, pour an inch or two up there, so I got a nice flat base to work off of. So let that cement harden for a few days, and now we need to drill a hole for the burner. So I want the burner to sit about an inch above the bottom of the foundry. So I'm gonna measure that, and I'm gonna use a carbide bit, hole cutting bit, to see if I can get that hole through that. So I'm gonna take the ceramic insulation and wrap it around the center. I could easily just put a tube in here and fill the rest up with refractory cement, but I just don't want it to be heavy, and I have this, so I'm gonna use this instead of the cement. The ceramic insulation has some pretty nasty dust, so make sure you're wearing a mask when you cut that. Okay, I got that done, that's good. We're gonna come back to that later. Next, we're gonna take the lid and we're gonna lay in some ceramic insulation into that. So I've got some bolts and washers and that's what I'm gonna use to fasten that ceramic insulation to the lid. So one last thing we gotta do, we don't want the ceramic wool to be open to the air, it deteriorates and it's not good. So we're gonna coat it with a refractory wash. It's a fine grain powder, we're just gonna mix it with water, paint it on there, and then we're done. You need to heat the refractory cement on the bottom very slowly so it doesn't crack. So don't put the burner in there full blast right away. So there it is, that's finished. Ready to go on my projects. Bit of an upgrade from the last one I made, but it's one of many ways to make a foundry out of a propane tank. Hope you enjoyed that. If you wanna see how I use this, catch me on the next projects. Take care, bye.